Hey guys, welcome to another video. You see, I got a couple of rods there, I'm gonna have a proper good day's fishing. But first, I'm gonna love your little cute clue what we're gonna catch. And that's Gudgeon, there's your clue. <laughs> you can have a guess at what we're catching. Uh, I'm just gonna fish in this little bay. Uh, there's a, a fair amount of Gudgeon in here. Uh, I'll try and get some underwater footage, but the water is very coloured, so um, it might not work too well. Let's see the big swirl coming from the edge. I don't know if that's a cart moving around, but let's, uh, we'll find out. So, uh, what I'm going to use for gudgeon is this uh, cheapest chips, Sports Direct rod, Dunlop. Um, I would use a stick, <laughs> but um, there's that many sort of bigger fish in here. I don't want to uh, sort of give the chance to harm me now, because if I'm just using a stick, I know I can carve this, it's going to snap into it. So I'm just going to take, reel off that, that red range rod and uh, off the waggler rod and uh, give it a go and hopefully we'll get some little brown gudgeon, yeah! Very flimsy this rod, I'll probably snap on a gudgeon. <laughs> nah, it's not that bad. Tiniest little waggle I've got in my, in my float tube. It's there. Oh, the shot's moved. There we go. That's fishing bang on bottom. Just one little dropper shot. That's a size 18 hook. If I had a 20, I'd use that. Well, that's plenty big enough. And uh, this is the specimen gudgeon catcher. Reported for duty. Zah. So I made a minor adjustment to the rig. I haven't put any bait in whatsoever, but I was getting swamped by a roach. What I was doing was slapping the rod on surface to try and scare them a little roach and run away. They sit higher up in the water. It worked for a bit and then they just got used to it and just came and started eating the maggots again. Uh, so what I did was basically just went for lift method. I've literally got a distance between, the, probably that is, that is an inch, perfect inch between the hook bait and that dropper shot on the hook length. And uh, yeah, pretty much every fish, 9 out of 10 is a gudgeon and I've been storing them in the net so we'll have a look at how many I've got in there in a minute and then there's some bigger fish to fry and I'm going to go after them in a minute. 